Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today is now Friday, August 21st, and it's 9.29. And I started doing comments this morning after I did my prayer time. And it seems that the video I shared that was from Grafted in Team Jesus when she got to the portion after talking about Daniel 9.27, showing all the boarded up businesses in Manhattan. Well, whoever shared that video had it dated, you know, like recently, August 18th or something, 16th. It turns out that was a June 2nd footage. But here's the thing of it. Before I shared that, I was looking for that video myself or one similar that showed businesses boarded up. I wanted to vet it for myself, but I thought, well, it must be taken down because I can't find it. Well, clearly I didn't go back far enough, or all I saw was recent videos of, go of the governor and the mayor begging rich people to come back. And I'm just going to play you a couple minutes of one of them. And this is dated August the 6th. Now, this is, this is uh, like a mainstream media talk show. And I don't think you can copy and paste their stuff without getting, it's the hill, okay? Now listen to what these two ladies, Crystal Ball and Emily Jashinsky, are saying about what Governor Cuomo has said to the rich people on August the 6th, or maybe he said it on the 5th. Flat on admitting that he is begging rich people to come back to the city of New York, even offering to have a drink with them or make them dinner. Let's take a listen. I literally talk to people all day long who are now in the Hamptons house, who also lived here, or in their Hudson Valley house, or in their Connecticut weekend house. And I say, you got to come back. When are you coming back? We'll go to dinner. I'll buy you a drink. Come over, I'll cook. Seriously. They're not coming back right now. Maybe the most revealing part of that, Emily, is the beginning when he's like, I talk to rich people all day long, right? Like, this is this is who this man is and who he caters to. If you look at the campaign finance report, something like a third of New York's billionaire families have all given to him. This is who he's listening to. This is whose cares and concerns he is hearing and thinking about right now as we're still recovering from this pandemic. Small businesses have been shut, something like 80%. Okay, did you notice she said as we're recovering from this pandemic? They're not mentioning the riots that caused the things to be boarded up. But what I want to know is, can somebody find me a video showing New York City stores open now? Are there hundreds of people walking up and down the sidewalk now? If the rich people have still, as of August the 6th, not returned... Who's running their businesses? Have they sent in representatives to open Saks Fifth Avenue? Have they taken down all the boards? Because uh, they didn't show... Well, I don't know. I don't watch mainstream media, so I can't tell you that that was shown or not shown. It may have been the day after the riots, saying we they had to temporarily board up while they cleaned up which is what that one video showed that Kirby Smith pointed out, hey, this is from June, like, 3rd, after uh, the riots. And they boarded them up. They had to get them cleaned up, new glass put in, I'm sure. And maybe it's all opened up again and all is well. Well, that's what I want to know. Can I have some boots on the ground driving up and down the streets of New York City and showing us New York City is all fine and good and dandy again? Okay, because I can't drive up there and do it myself. 
and I could research videos all day long, but this is not that important of an event. I mean, it is in that that was really creepy seeing New York as a ghost town. But if it's back to normal, we should know, certainly. We know it's going to happen in New York City. There's way too many prophecies. They can't all be wrong. They can't. There's going to be a nuke, if it's not already placed, possibly in Trump Tower. That city is going down, and the whole eastern seaboard is going to end up underwater. The western coast, California, like they've been saying for years, is going to end up underwater. Probably Oregon and Michigan, or at least the parts on the far side of the mountain. And Florida will be underwater. I don't know how bad Georgia and the Carolinas will be affected, but I have a feeling at least half will be underwater. Look for the, uh, in fact, I'll do it right now. Navy map. I wish I could show you what I can see. I just hate that, that I can't figure that out. Navy um, map. For after, I'll just say New Madrid, Madrid Fault Blows. How about I put it that way? Let's see what that brings. All right. The New Madrid Earthquakes, um, Faults in the East, New Madrid Fault Zone in Recent Virginia Earthquake. No. Fault lines, ready or not, St. Louis overdue for major earthquake tomorrow or any time. That was nine months ago. New Madrid fault line with Memphis type history. Oh, I want the Navy map. Earthquakes possible on Arkansas's New Madrid fault. Oh, come on, come on. There for a while, you could just pull it up. Let's see if I worded it different. Navy map. I just want to leave you a link so you can see it for yourself. Uh, new... Navy map for the future. How about that? Let's try that. Future. FEMA releases new flood maps. Future world map. Navy releases meritorious advancement program policy updates. FEMA flood Surge results, Alabama. That's interesting. I don't want the player. I want the whole video. A study by FEMA is giving up some insight on potential changes to our floodplain areas. The study looked at storm surge and still water data in Baldwin and Mobile counties. And as Fox News Baldwin County reporter Will Robinson-Smith explains, that could lead to increased insurance premiums. With this the potential for flooding, October especially 6, in areas along the beach, any changes in how the area is mapped for flooding makes a difference for a coastal city. No, that's not what I want. So if any of you got extra time on your hands, because see, I have so much to do. I don't have time to research every single video that might possibly have it. But there is a video or more out there that's showing what the Navy has already drawn up for what they expect the United States to look like after the New Madrid fault goes and causes the others to... How that's going to happen? It could be from the huge planet coming by. See, I still have been like, I don't know if I believe in that or not, but 
Uh, others have said, yeah, it most certainly can. And then I watched a video that showed the cloaking of it. And I'm like, oh, maybe so, maybe so. Could be causing the three days of darkness. It could cause everything to go out, apparently. Anyway, so that's some things. If y'all want to look it up for me, I'll be happy to watch the video. Hopefully, or if they're long, show me the minute mark where they start, okay? Because I don't have a lot of time to watch a one-hour video to find a five-minute segment. Okay, I appreciate that. I could use all the help I can get. And that's for those who have time. You don't have little ones or you don't have other things you have to do. Okay, thank you so very much. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.